はじめまして。So welcome guys to another video and in this video I'm going to show you how to serialize and deserialize images from and to your SQL database using C Sharp. So the idea here is to um, take images from these picture boxes. You could actually use multiple picture boxes. You could use 10, 15 or thereabout. So is to get images from these picture boxes, serialize them, then insert them to the database and then once we click on the retrieve button, um, the images are being retrieved, deserialized and then they'll be placed in, you know, picture boxes just according to the element specifier. So first of all, I'm going to show you the um, data type of the colon we're going to be using. So we're going to be using image you could actually also use var binary max. Yep, you could also use var binary, but it must be var binary max just in case the images would be more than expected. So var binary max or image are the ones to use. So next, let's go into the coding. So um, as you can see, um, we're going to use a byte array. We're going to declare a byte array variable. So an instance variable rather so and then when once we click on insert I created a list image um, a, a list image variable that will store the picture box images so the images of picture box 1 2 and 3 which are these three images this, which are these three picture boxes with images um, are just going to display so I, I just going to be inserted into the image and the list image um, variable and then here we, we created a memory stream and then using the binary formatter we, we will serialize um, the images that are in the input images variable which is the list image into the memory stream and then finally into the bytes array which is this um, instance variable or instance array whatever so next we use the update syntax to update the database I know I told you guys that it's insert but I actually use the update hope you guys don't mind I actually use the update syntax just so I can you know kind of know the the row I'm retrieving you know when that time comes and then next um, you just use the normal retrieve um, syntax to retrieve from database but you're going to insert the data into the bytes array right here and then here using the memory stream you insert the bytes all all the features of the bytes and then using the binary formatter once again you kind of deserialize the images sorry you kind of deserialize the memory stream back to another list image variable but this time we're using output images and then the um, identifier of the output images is zero like which is the first element in the list image um, array so next we're going to insert them into picture boxes picture box four five and six are this over here these picture boxes picture box one four five and six so um that's all for this tutorial let, but let's just go ahead and test it out if it actually works so this is it these are the images so once i click on insert it updates to the database and then once i click on retrieve it retrieves them so then um just to show you guys that this actually works um, let's go ahead and change the image um, in the day in the picture box by the way that's me so let's just change the image and then run the application once again so if we click on retrieve just before clicking insert you see this are uh, this is what is in the database but let's click on insert now so this image is going to update this one alongside uh, the rest so once I click on retrieve so you see it actually works so um i'll leave a download link to this video down in the description no download link to the um project so please like if you find this video helpful subscribe for more videos like this and i'll see you guys next time bye